Westheimer Wall Buffalo Speedway. So what do those folks or animal do to get their name up on a street sign? Marks Hinton, author of Historic Houston Streets, gave us the lowdown. Michael Westheimer came to, came to the United States in 19, 1839 uh, from Germany. He was bringing his family over here to flee the wars that were going on in Germany at that time. He acquired 640 acres of land at the corner of Buffalo Speedway and Westheimer Road, which is uh, where St. John's School and Lamar High School are today. He bought that for $250 an acre. Uh, and later he built it up, his relatives began to come over because of the fact that their children were being killed in the wars. And eventually the street was, it was way out of town then. It was called the Road to Westheimer's Place and it's been always been called that ever since. And some streets, such as Waugh Drive and Bissonette, were named after fallen soldiers from the Houston area. But not every street was named after a person. For example, Stella Link was named after a railroad linking the area ultimately known as Bel Air to Stella, Texas. As for Buffalo Speedway, the street was named because of the fact that it was a long, straight street. It was a mile long. It was concrete, smooth, straight as an arrow. And after it was laid down, every boy in the town with a hot rod wanted to run on it. So they were always having drag races out there illegally, of course. And uh, that's that ended up being called Buffalo Speedway. So many of you may be thinking, who cares about the street names? When is all this construction going to go away? Streets across the city of Houston are in terrible shape. I know that. Uh, the Rebuild Houston program puts more than 100 million additional dollars a year into our street program and over time it'll it'll ramp up but we have 16,000 lane miles of streets and you can't overcome decades of deferred maintenance overnight for Houston Public Media News I need Al Howland now back to PBS News our weekend